Hello and welcome to video two in my series I bought a honking big box of art supplies and decided to open them over three different videos also known as Jazza stuff <laughs> uh, so yes if you saw the first one um, there's a link below basically I got the ultimate creativity box because uh, discount and I had the money to buy it because of my voice over work which I will also put the video if for that in the description and if you watched it um my first video then cool thank you and if you didn't then it's there and if you did watch it again or show it to a friend um sorry i put my knife down and oh there it is and i wasn't sure where it was so this one is the sculpture box again for those of you if you missed the first video in association with smart art you cannot buy these anymore it was extreme limited edition at the time i bought them and yeah they're just yeah sorry <laughs> but you know he was advertising them for long enough um decided to go for the whole set because discount and i said that already um yeah so i know there's <clears throat> i've been trying to avoid spoilers but i know there's two types of clay in here i think one's like a specialist mo uh, monster clay like they use for like um doing maquettes or something and there's like another type of like more common clay um i'm pretty sure there's some tools in here and i think maybe some kind of armature and wires and stuff all i know is it's really heavy so yeah everything you ever wanted if you've ever wanted to try getting into um sculpting and clay modeling and stuff like that so again got the um bowl wrap and they're having everything really nicely presented and nicely packed so thank you to whoever packed my box i'll just move the bubble wrap to one side keep it safe um we have our cheat sheet with the pit this is the same picture that's on the bottom of the box um so you can have a look there that's very cute and then uh, let's have a dive in okay cool so we have a tool pouch I'm guessing with Jazz's Javatar on it and we just oh, wow there's loads of st cool stuff in here big box of stuff so sorry if you're a headphone user I'll try and do this quickly there we go so yeah it's um pouch so we've got the flap here individual pockets and then pretty sure it's designed to be a roll for the way the strings are here so that's oh I love that new product smell. Alright, let's start here with you. Um so these are some kind of rubber tipped moulding tools. So you can see they are flexible. Sorry, I'll take them out the rattly. Um okay. So as you can see they are flexible but quite firm so I'm guessing well, I'm guessing are uh, good for detailing so you've got uh kind of an off single that way sorry that way is kind of chiseled but then you notice you turn it this way it's got like a, a, a double angle thing going on so like I guess that's for chisel detail at different angles uh this one seems to be just like a mostly a round pointy yes these are technical terms I'm using uh this one has a, a cut out um, so I'm guessing, yeah, it's around there and then, I guess like for smoothing, like, different kind of, like, if you're doing like a, yeah, it's concave, so it'll be for doing rounded edges and stuff in small detail. Uh, we have another flat palette-y chisel one, sorry, brain's gone soft again, and a rounded chisel, again, firm but flexible. So what I will do is pick that one up. And sorry, there's um in my flat there's some bins right outside, so I think the noise you can hear is someone putting their rubbish away. So is that a thing? Okay. Okay, and that seems to be not enough room for those. Alright, so they fit quite nicely in there. Uh paintbrushes fairly basic standard I've had this brand before golden talcon for I uh, look like simple flat wedges for um 
thing and I do like these packets because it shows you roughly what each kind of style of brush does on the back so that's kind of useful information um these are neat so uh, again I guess good for yeah I mean because you use water a lot when you're doing clay so I can see this being like if you're trying to just want to get a, a, a particular area um damp to carry on working on it without getting the rest of it sopping wet so I can see that all just for painting over it after you've done and I can't find how to get in here so um we'll leave them in there for now but yes paint brushes next oh oh nice um it says burnishing set um it is um a pointy tool so here we've got a rounded head pointy tool and then here we've got different attachments. I actually have something very similar. Um, I got, I think I got myself a new exacto knife or something similar to that. And it had interchangeable heads. Um, so now I have more. You can never have too many fiddly things because I'm trying to remember where I got them from and wherever they're, they're buried now. So yeah, uh, you can never have too many exacting pointy things. To do, to do work with so I don't know what it's called a burnishing set essential for creativity excel um, blades core uh, not intended for use by children please be careful and it even has like a ruler on the side so useful uh, next we have another pouch uh, so let me open this up I'm, I'm guessing going on the theme this is going to be more tools of a different description of flavour oh wow didn't have anything like this before yeah this this is this is beautiful this is gorgeous um right let me just because some of them, some items have shifted in transit um this 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 is tool this is tools uh so you can see sort of I, I don't know, I'm just describing how they look. It's like, like a knifey thing, uh, more pointy things, a different angle pointy. Oh no, it's more of a, another knifey palette thing. More knifey palette thing. A knifey palette thing with a cool um, curved blade. A pointy knifey thing. A curved knifey thing. A pointy thing. Uh, this is like a flat chisel thing. This is a scoopy thing. A uh, big knife thing. Other end of the knife thing with a palette edge. And then other various forms of pointy, pokey, curved, and chisely. And they're all metal. Um, aside from obviously this one is metal on wood. Um, this is beautiful. I have no idea. Like, because yes, I, 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 I'm not very good at the sculpting and claying stuff, which is one of the reasons I was quite excited to get this particular set so I could give myself an excuse to learn. I have, um, I have tried and I've, because I've, um, experimented with Fimo before, um, I have, well, they're actually basic cooking tools, like, you know, when you use for cake decorating and doing flowering and stuff, so I have a couple of sets of those, so I have a couple of sets, obviously I keep clean for if I do ever decide to, so the idea was, if I learnt cake decorating or, or different things for that, then I could also use it in, in my sculpt, you know, if I'm doing the Fimo stuff, the polymer clay stuff. But then also anything I learned from doing polymer clay, I could learn and if I ever do cake decorating. Now, I didn't really get into either of those um, for various different reasons. Um, but the idea was that theoretically one should be transferable onto the other when it comes to like little, making little models out of either clay or marzipan or whatever. So um, I do have plastic designed for cake decorating tools but I bought two sets of one for cake decorating and one for using my Fimo but um this this is beautiful this I, I wouldn't even want to put a price on this that is amazing totally yeah yeah I can see being able to do lots of different things once you learn how to use them like max you know get the most out of the, each tool and how it works I can absolutely see this being a very very useful kit um, once you know how to use it properly. Beautiful. Thank you, Jazza. Um, 
All right, next we have, yes, a sculpting armature wire. Uh, 32 foot or 9.75 meters and 1.6 millimeters. So yeah, um, armature wire for obviously creating shapes and um, because when I have done like I've done like tiny little models and stuff, um, I've got a celery stick somewhere that I made. Uh, I'll find it later. So I've done like little things that don't need much support, but when I've tried bigger things, obviously they've kind of fallen, collapsed under their own weight, or I've kind of I don't want to say lost patience with it, but like my situation changed and I, I didn't sort of continue projects and it's like this is like stuff at school, stuff I've done uh, outside of school. It's a whole yeah. I'm not making excuses, it's it just means it being yeah, life changes. But um yeah, so this having having framing, having like because again I've watched Jazza do some of his videos, it's like, hey, make a basic skeleton or shape first, put the clay around it, and then work it out from there. So you you know, so you've got a support structure. Loving that idea. Absolutely loving that idea. Ooh, needed one of these. So like I said, I have um, experimented with um, Fimo specifically. Uh, all the stuff now, still a lot of the stuff now is Sculpey brand, but it's basically the same stuff. It's the coloured polymer clay, um, which if I remember correctly, there are some in here. So yes. Um, so yeah, no, this is this is good for rolling stuff out instead of using a, your mum's rolling pin. Um, very useful. Like that. Very cool. Uh, next we have more tools. This is more in your scrapey. So we got this set is going to be your detailing and pointing and poking holes set. This is your um, I have need to clear out some clay from a particular area um, in different angles and different ways. So this is your um, your cheese wire set, basically. Actually, is there cheese wire in here? Can't see any. Um, sorry, <laughs> for those of you who may not be completely aware, the cheese wire, obviously use it for cutting cheese, but also people can and have used it for, if you've got the, the really big lump of clay, you just phoom, get the cheese wire and cut a big piece off with that. Um, yeah, so, and this is obviously I don't know if it's made of the same material, but the concept the same. We got like the metal, that, so you can get in and, and do the detailing on that. Very cool. I like this. This is a very sweet set. Okay, not all going to go in one hole. <sighs> right. So, uh, keeping on the theme of small metal tools, uh, we also have this little thing, which looks like a tiny rake. Uh, let you come. There you come. Don't be shy. Oh. Don't be shy. There we go. Rip, rip the plastic. It's fine. I'm going to put it away anyway. It's all going to be. Um, yeah. So this is not quite a rake. It's not angled. Um, but small poking detailing. Quite sharp. Please be careful. Okay. That can go in there as well i actually do appreciate the wrap like i said before on the previous video um i've been trying to avoid spoilers for what's in the box um so every a lot of the stuff is actually a surprise so yeah like i said the two types of clay so this one is curable oven safe um soft um cos clay so it's, it's like tinted so it's like a pinky one um it says here jazz's favorite polymer clay so yeah you can see it's got the jazz of branding on it as well so yeah this is like a big block it feels like um female sculpey so yeah this is like a big block of pink polymer clay because the one thing if you're especially if you're making people you never have enough of like your your white purse your caucasian skin tone um so yeah obviously other skin tones are available but, you know, this is a good block if you want to make pink people. <laughs> uh, and then we have the other type of clay that we get a big block of. And this is the monster clay stuff I was saying about. Uh, Sulfur-free, oil-based, elastic clay, premium-grade, soft. Jazz's favourite clay. 
Uh, warning, use caution when heating hot clay can cause burns. Um, I know with polymer clay you can heat it in the oven and dry it and cure it. Oh, I don't know if this requires a proper kiln. I do not have access to a proper kiln. So this might sit quietly in the cupboard whilst I find something to cure it with. Uh, to use the clay, remove outer wrap and simply shape by hand or sculpting tools if desired. Um, if desired form. This is a soft grey clay and Oh, soft grey clay and no heating or ovening is required. Well, that's cool. Um, obviously, I'll look into it more. Um, think of what I actually want to make. Um, before you know, committing myself. But yeah, um, apparently you can air air dry it. That's kind of cool. Air dry clay. Sweet. <clears throat> there we go. Next we have more Sculpey brand things. This is your basic cutting up and moulding and slicing tools. So we've got a straight one, a curved one and a wibbly one. And yes, wibbly is a technical term. Uh, clay blades. Yeah, just just clay blades. Again, like Sculpey brand stuff isn't always cheap. So clay blades. That includes three blades with handles for slicing a variety of edges and design and edges and details on clay. Use long rapid blade for straight cuts or edges. Use short flexible blade for curved cuts and edging. Use a wave blade for decorative cuts and edging. Caution, sharp blades can take use care when cleaning. Use soap and water to dry before storage. So yeah, blades for cutting lumps of clay. Makes sense. Uh, speaking of lumps of clay, we have Sculpey. Uh, we, we have Sculpey. Of various colours. Now I already have a whole lot of other polymer clays. Um, I will double check but as far as I know unless they've got like special properties like I've got one that is um, designed to be eraser and you can get ones that are like specifically bendy so you can make bendy toys with it but as far as I know unless they've got special properties like that um, I'm pretty sure you can mix and match polymer clays like you know have them on the same thing but yeah Good, strong primary and secondary colours. Um, nice, nice set. Big, big solid wedge, so 10 pack. Oven baked clay. Uh, let me open you up. I think this is like, this is like as it comes. So it's not like a jazz of branded version. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, come on. There we go. So... Let's just slide this out and as you can see you get quite a lot of, of bang for your buck. I actually have, so I have these Sculpies now, I have um, Fimo, branded Fimo, and I also have like some um, non-branded um, just like Wilco stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this could actually is a noticeable difference, like especially once they're cooked. But it should be interesting to try them and see them together. So uh, yeah, I got a lot of got a lot of clay in a lot of colours, and I actually have a couple projects in mind. Um, so that's liking that. Very pretty, cool. And then lastly, by no means leastly, we have tassels. Now I know you're thinking, especially if you're not familiar with Jazza's channel, which again I'll be linking down below because you know, he needs the clicks. He he really needs people to go check out his stuff. He's he, he's struggling. He's bought a new studio. He's doing all right. But on one of the videos he was playing with. So this is an idea I never had would have considered before. So I said before about the paint brushes, like painting in details and stuff, using chalk to actually paint the detailing on into the clay. Get some interesting effects. Again, I'm going off of what I saw in his videos. So, for that purpose, kind of cool. I can see it being interesting to put it in the box. Also, this is a really nice set of pads. I don't use chalk very often because it can be quite messy. Uh, I don't know how to use them maximally, for the best abilities. But they're a nice. They're a nice. Set. I think that yeah, Royal Lancaster. A Royal Langnickel. That's the um, paint brushes in the other video. Same brand. 
Um, yeah, no, really nice set of um, very pretty colours. So these will get used one way or another, either it's with the clay or just me drawing, or both. So yeah, we, we have that, we have that. This is a gorgeous set. This is really nice. Um, yeah, so uh, that that is that. I'm going to pop everything back safely in here. Um, so we've got the wrap, the toys, tools I've put in there. Armature, very cool. Let's have a closer look at this. Um, ah, here we are. It's probably an easy way of taking that out, but it's done now. Uh, yep, that's their um, low on side. Quite firm, it's got some good weight to it. And then, yeah, just should be simple twist. Simple twist. Yeah, it should be like twist and then change. And then, uh, come here you. Oh my god, just open. Open. Oh. Oh, sorry about this. I know I have a knife, but you know when you sort of start doing something and you're determined to finish it the way you started it even though you realise there probably is a better way? There you go. So there's a close look at the, uh, the tools. What have we got here? Uh, four including that one. Cool. So, alright. Um. Probably not. I'll have to find somewhere else for that because it's not going to quite go in there with them. It's a bit. Oh. There you go. <laughs> and then let's rip this. Let's just rip it. <laughs> um, yeah, so paintbrushes for detailing of various different things. Sorry, I went quiet on you for a second there. I'm not sure where my brain went. So, yeah close-up of the brushes um, which are taped together oh, okay um, yay yeah, so here's all the tools except obviously these ones are gonna stay in there then we've got this this is nice I like this I like that we have this really nice range of tools that I probably would have gone out and gotten separately anyway at some point maybe as I thought about needing something like this but to A have them all as part of the kit obviously you're buying a uh, a curated art kit you're gonna want you know that you you want the materials and the tools but the pouch actually giving the pouch as well to put the tools in that that is a really sweet touch that I like so um that kind of that that kind of makes it. It's the little things that make it. And I guess I, I said in the other box, trust an artist to um, know how to do presentation, um, because I like that. I like, I do appreciate the fact he's put his face on everything because I like the Jazzatar. It's it's um it's cute. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously you can't see it when it's all wrapped up, but that's okay. Um, I like that. I I that. I know it seems kind of weird to focus on it, but that's the kind of detailing that sort of makes stuff like this a bit more special. Um, it's already really cool and, you know, really good value for money. Um, like I said, buying the whole box set means I get like a discount on all three of them. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, cause, and, and I, I've seen these in shops, so I know those, those are quite pricey on their own and everything else. It's such good quality. It's such good quality in this. I'm not even sure I'm going to buy more of this. I mean, yes, Amazon, but like, you know, to, to, to go into a hobby shop and to buy it, I'm not sure if Hobbycraft have it. Maybe. I've never actually looked for much specifically. Right, where are you? Here you are. Let's have a quick look at the cheat sheet then. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, little booklet contains some helpful tips and hints to help you make the most of the context of the Super Sculpture box. There's even more examples and um, tricks on one to include that wouldn't fit inside. So on top of the booklet, I'll be making a whole bunch of video content using the items in this box. We made a web page where you'll be able to watch all of them that you'll complete. Thinking about it, I think this is all the stuff um, 
some of the videos and stuff he's been putting on his regular channel um, and he's just clayed them on the website so Monster Clay, Cos Monster Clay is a clay the most fun to work with and the best clay to learn with as it as it's reusable, it isn't curable, but will certainly hold shape indefinitely if protected. All right, cool. So unless I put a, um, an actual like sealant or something on it, then not only will it air dry, but I can like you know rework it. Sometimes I guess sometimes I keep it clean and everything. Colors clay, flexible polymer clay that bends that bends after you bake it. Don't be fooled by how flexible it is after baked. It's super sturdy. Cool. Uh, polymer clay, colourful and versatile polymer clay can be used to make character charms, jewelries, or props. You can colour, you can colour it by brushing it with pastels, including or by painting it with, after it's baked, or by mixing the colours when you're sculpting. Yeah, so that was the thing he showed in his video that is you can put the chalk directly onto the pre-cured clay, and then when you bake it, it does the whole like it engraves, it in, you know, puts it in a bit more, like does a whole whole more thing to it whole more thing to it yeah that, that's that's proper english isn't it um yes it's you know obviously once you cure once you cook something it sort of changes the color and tone of stuff so um sculpting acrylic roller um super slicers sculpting an arch while build a skeleton for your sculpture and add extra stability um okay sculpting double-ended stainless steel sculpting tools case these were your go-to sculpting tools for shaping and detailing. The wooden handle knife tool is extra useful for quickly shaping larger sculptures. Cool. XL bonus set, mini ribbon sculpting tools and steel wire texture brush tools are all for shaping and texturing your sculptures. So yeah, like you peel off the bits you don't need or just nipping in where you do. Rubber tip sculpting tool uh, shapers will help you smooth out surfaces and gently work more delicate areas. So yeah. Firm but flexible. Jazz's roll up canvas tool case, a cool case with my face on it. Need I say more? Nah. And then colouring and shading. Oh, okay. Um, use pastels on your polymer clay before you bake it. You can add subtle and ex or extreme colour effects that become permanent after the clay is baked. That's what I was trying to say. Nice to have but not include aluminum foil, aluminium foil, cooking foil, bake foil, whatever you call it. For building armature and baking bulking out the inside of a sculpture. I have done that. I made a little um, thing it's over there somewhere, but it's a mess at the moment. Um, and yeah, I didn't want to use the whole thing. I just but I wiped the shapes. So yeah, balled up tin foil is great for that. Linseed oil or Vaseline can be used in tiny amounts to oh, revitalize polymer. Cool. So if it's getting dry or stiff. And then um, we have Monster Clay Guide, Cos Clay Guide. Um, polymer clay guide, guide with various different projects he's done um, maximising use of the pastels things like that um, armature what is armature so yeah big old thing and then you just you know, make that because if you, if you made that purely out of clay you'd be using a lot of clay so yeah have it inside you know, build up your model inside and then slap on the clay on top um, and then like a step-by-step -step guide to making the armature <coughs> sculpting with monster clay and sculpting with polymer clay so there you go nice little quick start going some of this stuff I kind of knew of, I will be learning and there we go that is that so you're either seeing this a week after the first video the inky box or the next day because I still haven't decided yet how I'm going to release them um, but yeah they will be um, up and scheduled but yes big heavy box definitely worth the money pop you down there excuse my throat I'm gonna have some more tea in a minute <clears throat> but yeah so that's the polymer the, that's the clay sculpture box uh, what do you think of that? Your thoughts, ideas, you know, uh, projects. Tell me something you think I should try and make. I may not make it straight away because one, um, I, I probably wouldn't make it straight away and two, depends on how complicated it is. Um, but yeah, we can look at it. We can try. Um, but yeah, that is a sculpture box. I'm really happy with that. I'm like super impressed with that. 
I think when I was thinking maybe just getting individually, that sculpture box or the inky box were the ones that I was most kind of like, yeah, that one if I want. But then I was like, I looked at how much money I had available to me, and then I looked at the offer, like you know, basically saving about, I think it was up to a hundred dollars. I'm like, just get them all, just just get the whole lot. You know, you've got the money there. Have for how often do you really treat yourself? So yeah. That is the Jazza sculpt, Super Sculpture Box. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you, you know, found something of value in there. Apart from me rambling about it. And again, Jazza, if you're watching, thank you. That is such a really cool box. And I will have fun exploring that and learning new skills. So yeah, I forgot to do my proper sign off um, last video. So I will try and remember to do it now. If you have been, thanks for watching. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you next time. Bye!